Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a shout out video for Sean Brooks. Sean Brooks has been making these uh, Jocko lanterns for Halloween out of these fence boards. This is a one by six and I um, just want to give Sean a shout out and check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave it in the description below. It's called Pen on Fire. So this one's for you, Sean. This is a piece of a one by six uh, fence board cedar, western red cedar. You can use any wood you got. It can be old wood. It, you were going to paint this so it doesn't matter. Um, might help to have a square to do your cuts. Um, all you need to cut it is a jigsaw or even, well, yeah, a jigsaw and uh, tape measure and some wood glue and some tea lights like from the dollar store that have the batteries. So let's get this uh, going here and figure out how uh, tall we want to make this. So you got to have two sides, a front and a back, a bottom and a top. So we'll do this uh, front and the back right now. I think um, one foot's pretty good because we're going to have our face right here. And it's good to have like your mouth here. So when you have the tea light in the bottom, you don't see the, the light from the bottom mouth. So let's do one foot. These little triangle squares are great to have. Okay, you can get them at the dollar store too. I think they even come plastic. This one's a aluminum or something or metal. So you just butt it up. Okay, so there's a foot. Okay, so we'll get the, well, I could have just marked out two feet, done two cuts. But you gotta remember when you're cutting this, you are losing a couple of millimeters this line here anyways all right so now I'm gonna pull out the jigsaw and cut across here I will warn that this uh, jigsaw blades kind of dull or you could use a hand saw or a power saw any kind of saw you got So here is our front end uh, back cutout, okay? I'm gonna go look around for a one by four, a one by two or something for the sides. Okay, so I found an old pallet board. These are a bit thinner. So I'll show you why I wanted to find something a bit thinner. You see? Because then you'll get an overhang on the top. But um, what I'm gonna do is cut these the exact same size. So I gotta cut uh, two sides. Okay, so now we have our front, our back, one side and another side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them together like this, okay? Then I'll glue the back on. Um, I'm gonna use this CA glue. They, um, I'm an affiliate of theirs. Sean's also an affiliate of theirs too. So if you look below, you can see the, the code to get to, the, in the description below, you can see the link to get to the star, uh, star bond. It's like crazy, it's crazy glue. And this is accelerator, okay? So this speeds up the curing time. So I'm gonna put a couple daubs on each spot here, get this thing glued together, and um, yeah, carry on. So. Then I'll just spray this side. So when it touches the uh, glue, it'll accelerate. Okay, there's one. I'm putting the, in, the black of this uh, pallet board on the inside because we're going to paint the inside black too. I don't know how square they are. But the good thing about these uh, jack-o'-lanterns, nothing has to be square and true. It's a good project if you got grandkids or your kids that you guys can do together. You know, it's, it's something super easy. You know why I'm using the super glue? Is because um, the star bond, because I, I want to speed up and get this done, right? So you guys can just use normal wood glue. I'm also, when this is done, I'm going to get a brad nailer and brad nail them together too. So, oops, I did it wrong. These were supposed to be on the outside, so they look like black lines, but that's okay. 
actually, I'm not going to brad nail it. I'm just going to put a thing of super glue in the corners here. Just to show you guys, you can do this with any any type of tool. You don't have to have like crazy carving tools and stuff like that. So, okay, so you guys can see here this box is together. Now, here will be the front of it. So we're going to make the bottom. We want to give it a little bit of an overlap on each side, I think, right? So where's my pen? Great, Jordy, can't find the freaking pen. Okay, so let's do this uh, right here. Like, that's the perfect thing about this project. Nothing has to be perfect. So here's our bottom cut. You can see it's not square. Just put this on here and decide where you want to put your glue, right? So I think I'll just put glue here. Set it on. Let it dry. It does not take long for this stuff to dry at all. It's like super glue, but they can't call it super glue, so it's star bond, right? And um, I'm going to put some in the corners down here, too. We don't want this sucker ever coming apart. Right, Sean? It's got to be the most solid jack o' lantern box ever. Okay, I kind of made a mistake, so I'm going to take this off here, let this glue dry or whatever it needs to do, um, the top. So you need to make it so, so pretend this is the top here. You need to cut out a little square bit that will fit inside here because you'll, you know, you want to be able to put the light in through the top. So if you got a little square bit that fits inside there and locks it on, then, you know, so this will be inside, then you'll make a top. And it won't be able to blow off the top. It just kind of locks the top in place a little bit more. So you can see this. This is just a crappy piece of wood. All I'm going to do is cut it. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Okay. So this is the top piece I cut. You guys can do it however you want. I extended it. So can you see this on camera? So you can see like there's little... Hold on. There's overhangs on each side. So this is the thing. This is the little block that I, I just cut. Okay. I'm going to put this inside here. Put some glue on here. Hold it down. And make sure this piece just goes like this on the top. Because that will act like a locking thing. So your top won't be able to fall off. Does that make sense to you? Okay. You can just do it like this. I got it in there. You know, you get your pen, right? Because we're using the super glue, the Starbond stuff, put a bunch on there. Put your accelerator on it. Hold it on there until it locks. And there, we got our, our lockable top, you know? Does that make sense? There's other ways you can do it. I'll just go around the edges, give it some glue, accelerator. So it just makes it uh, more bomb proof. Right, Sean Brooks? Okay. Then we'll take a little break. But anyways, let's see here. Is it in camera? So you go like this. Boom. There's your top. Okay? Because you got that locker in there. It's not going to fly off. It might go like this a bit. Who cares? Then you can take it off, put your candle in there and your light thing and thingy thing. <laughs> okay, so the bottom. Put some glue on here. Yeah, I know I'm a huge waster. All right, spray, spray this accelerator down here. Get it on. I just got shit done. That's basically the bottom line. Okay, that's all I do. Can you see? So there's your bottom. There's your top. Let it all dry up. See? Okay, here it is. All the glue's dry. Um, this is the one where I, I made the, the, the thinner boards, the pellet boards, the middle. Here, your top comes off. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've made two. Might as well make two or three when you're doing it. 
So this is the wider board. The pallet boards are on the side. See, they're thinner. And then you get the proper overhang on the top and the bottom. And you do it that way, if it makes sense to you. So this is when you uh, draw on your pumpkin face. Yep. I'm pretty sure Sean Brooks has this piece off that he carves it with his Dremel. Like when it's when this whole piece is separated from the thing. It might be easier. But so here's our pumpkin nose. Let's do our pumpkin eyes. Uh, pumpkin eyes. I'm just going to do this all with my little uh, jigsaw saw thing. So in our mouth, let's just do, um, remember we don't want to have it too low because our little tea light, like these things that we got from the dollar store, they're like those little light, light things. And uh, so we'll just go like this. This can be anything. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be friggin' perfect. It's a silly, it's a silly pumpkin lantern. So now what I'm going to do is get a drill, drill holes inside here, one hole each one, right? A couple drill holes in here, so then I can slide my jigsaw blade inside there and start cutting. <laughs> okay. okay, as our friend at studio on the lake would say, boof, just like that. What do you think about that? Just carve up. Okay, so there you go. There's two. So what I'm going to do here is, if I have enough of it, I got this green tape. I'm going to tape on the outside here and uh, cut out the eye. No, I don't have to cut out. I'm just going to tape here. Then I'm going to sp spray inside here uh, black and on the inside too. Okay, so tape on the outside faces so the black doesn't run down here when you paint an orange, right? Okay. Don't forget to tape, uh, paint the bottom of your lids black. The spider on my arm. Uh, you can do around the edges too. You want the black paint to dry faster? Just like that. Don't melt your tape. Okay, so we can pull the tape off. Now, we can start painting it orange. Don't forget to spray your tops orange too. I'm going to leave a little bit here, not sprayed, so I can uh, put some crazy glue and put the tops on. I'll show you the tops in a second. Oops, I covered over the, I sprayed over the, where I said I wasn't going to. Who cares? Okay, so I, I glued these little tops together. I got this green paint, so let's hope that um, I'll get enough out of here to finish the project. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stuff home and uh, paint the bottoms black and inside the black. And we'll finish this video off at uh, my little Dremel carving shop at uh, home. Put some lights in it and see how they, see how they do. Jesus, come on. Yeah, okay. All right. So here we are back at the home fort. So you got the black line up here. So what I want to do is paint down here black. All the overhang black and this strip here black. I'm just going to use dollar store paint. It's acrylic. And um, same with this one. So, you know, you see the thinner boards right here. These are the thinner boards. And I put the thinner boards on the front here. So the thinner boards make it so your piece is not as thick. And then it gives you the overhang like a pumpkin thing. Actually, I don't even know why you need an overhang. But there you go. Okay, so that's that. So now let's just get... Um, Curve fusion paint tray here. Curve fusion paint brush. Get some uh, curve fusion dollar store paint. Put it on the paint tray, and um, start painting all these thing things black. I think I'm going to use the tape and just uh, mask tape it off here. 
so I can slop it on really quick. Okay. Alrighty then. And also when you're doing the painting, don't forget this is when you can touch up the black inside here too. The orange overspray. If you want, it's not a big deal. Carry on. Okay, can you see that mark on the tooth there? That's my pencil mark that I didn't cut true to the line when I was using my jigsaw. So I noticed all on this pumpkin, I had pencil marks all around it. So all I did is got my paintbrush and painted around the side there. So what do you think, Mr. Brooks? Mr. Sean Brooks, pen on fire. These um, just quick carvings, anybody can do them, super fun. I think Sean does sell quite a bit of these. Um, you know, like look, look at that paint there, okay? Look at these tops. Do you think I cared to try and paint it good? I didn't. Because I think, you know, truthfully, the shittier that you make these, the better that they look. Kind of like old folk art. If you look at this one right here, it's kind of uh, tilted that way. You know, <whistles> look at the top. And look at the top. It's not perfectly square. I don't care. Like even for uh, example here, look, you can see some orange paint through there. All you do is get your finger on the paint. It's acrylic. It's not going to kill you. And touch it up. That's the kind of project this is. It's fun. It's um, good for the family. The kids will love them. I think the neighbors are going to love them at Halloween time. Now let's um, glue these tops on. I just hit it with my Dremel, scuffed it up, and I scuffed it up on the top there too. Super glue, done. Okay, here's more of that CA glue. Put some on there. Put some on here. I'm not going to use the um, speeder, speedery up stuff because, well, I don't. It's got to wait. I got to wait till it gets dark. Till um, I film. Is that working? I got to wait till it's dark. Till I film, I'm um, sorry, till I film this with the lights on it anyways. There you go. Here, don't even care if it's on straight. Let's make it a bit crooked. <laughs> Anybody want to buy a used paint tray? I'll wait till the paint's dry. Paint tray, used paintbrush. I'll send it just like that, sign it, and uh, I don't know, a couple million? What do you think, Sean? No, we just got to wait till it gets dark outside. Ooh. Don't forget to sign your pieces. Ooh. Hit them with a clear coat if you want. Uh-oh, scratch the paint. That's okay. Get your finger paint. Touch it up. Some more. Very good. Good as new. Oh, no. Why don't you look at how crooked this one is? Holy shit. Fixed it. Even better, I just must say. Super cool. Okay, so it's dark enough now. Let's, um, so these are, uh, what are they? Uh, flameless lights, light, flameless tea lights, Halloween pumpkin ones. Okay, so these were like two for a buck fifty at our or dollar store dollarama there let's uh, open these up put them in well they're not very bright are they hopefully they light the inside of those uh pumpkins i guess they're not bad Woo! okay all you do is just pull the lid off put your thingy thing down here okay both the lights are on inside there and i got some bad news Those lights are just not quite bright enough. Nope, they're not. Fucking, I, I always struggle with lighting. It pisses me off. Okay, since these cheap little dollar stores lightings are not bright enough, I got, uh, had, luckily I had an extra. This is a LED flame bulb. 
I would normally just find try and find tea lights that are brighter than this, but I want to get this video done. So now I got this, um, I got the plug in for it. I'm going to drill a hole in the back here with this spade bit. Get this sucker put in there and end this video with a woo. Okay, the light is stalled in the back. This is an E12. It's a smaller light bulb. These um, things you can buy on Amazon too. They got like the on off here. These um, are for, just if you're looking for the light bulb socket, sockets, just look um, uh, up salt lamps on Amazon, salt lamp lights, and you can buy the cables. So it's a lot brighter. So now I got both of the ones, small ones in here. And um, hey, Sean Brooks, if you can leave a like a Amazon link down below or something like that to get the proper kind of bulbs for these, I'd much appreciate it. And I'm sure everybody else would. So let's uh, turn off the lights. And see what we got. See? See how much better that light is with my fingers flapping now? So I'm going to have to find something else for this other one. I'll talk to Sean. He's probably got the better idea. So that's it, everybody. There you go. There's your Jack Old Lanterns in the honor of Sean Brooks. Sean, I'd just like to say uh, thanks for all the um, thanks for all the po positive comments, all the shout-outs. Thanks for your YouTube channel. And uh, keep up the great work. And anybody else that's um, into watching YouTube videos, Sean is the one that makes these. I don't think he invented them, but he makes them. That's how I got the idea, and I wanted to make this video for Sean. So his channel is called Pen on Fire, and I will leave. And I'm thanking you for like me, just, cro just Carve Rob, and the entire uh, Carving Fusion community. So there you go, everybody. Have fun. Take care. I'll leave a link to Sean's uh Email address pen on fire in the description below. Carve Infusion. Ooh. Over and out. Carve Infusion. Over and out. Goddamn piece of shit. You know how much money I waste at the goddamn dollar store? And Amazon too, I waste so much friggin' money.